What's up guys, what's up? So this is Marco Flores. Uh, it's gonna be a, a little interview. I know a lot of fans don't really know who I am. They see me vlogging around in the Corrido game and they, they probably were interested about who, who who's Marco Flores. So it's just gonna be a little, little interview uh, to wrap up the year. 2022 has been great and yeah. Okay. Okay, so first question is how has it been vlogging in the corrido game like this past year and like well however long you've been doing it? Man, uh I remember when I first started this this YouTube channel, uh Blog Verdes. Uh it wasn't even called Blog Verdes. It was just my name. <laughs> People don't even remember, like uh only the OG fans do. But um it was crazy because I remember when I first started, there was only a couple people in the game. I remember where I wounded, if people don't see where I wounded, shout out wounded. Thank you. And uh, it was wounded doing the interview with Richie. Uh, Richie was one of the first also, Richie and wounded. And uh, who else? I think Yayo, shout out Yayo. He was on the, I remember he, he was doing the, his, his, his own stuff. I remember seeing him. Uh, Augusta had just started also they started about the same time I did and uh, there was I just thought there wasn't a lot of uh, people in the game so I just wanted to put my shoes into it I said I'm, I know I got a different style I got uh, I just I got something I got a different type of swag a different type of swag that the Corrido game would like to see um and it's just been crazy to be honest it's been crazy going to the corrido games like um like going to these different events and stuff it's been crazy meeting different people um it's been, it's been crazy what i've been seeing behind the scenes vlogging and stuff a lot of people don't know see what the camera see like you guys only see what the, what the, what the audience like only what uh, the person wants you to see like I can't show you everything that goes on behind the scenes I wish I could but I can't um, but man like some of those memorable shows like I remember with uh, damn was in San Diego I remember with uh, Alan Trias and, and Tony Loya that that was one of the that was one of my most memorable shows. Also, the Grupo de Cuatro, uh, Grupo de Cuatro ones, man, uh, the Slavon ones. It's been crazy, uh, and I just hope I can't wait to get more interviews, more vlogs in, and continue to progress and just motivate the fans, motivate the fans to wake up every day and to know that. There's better days. You always gotta wake up every day, no matter what circumstance you're in. You gotta keep going, keep believing yourself, head up high, always with the head up high, and always have that winner mentality. Like you gotta wake up and, and think you're a winner, a, a winner, first place. You don't want third place. It's cool to be third place for a minute, but you gotta keep progressing. It's the mentality that I try to give my fans. And never feel sorry for yourself. Know that there's a way out. Just, but you gotta believe. You gotta believe. You gotta be the one to believe in yourself. That's the, that's that's my daily motivation to my fans every day. I want them to get that out of the channel. Um, but yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's hot over here. I won't be. <laughs> All right. So the next question. No, this is a question for me. How many shows do you think you've been to, like, since you started this? Mm. Like, an estimate. An estimate? Like, including, like, the rappers, too. Like, Sway and all that stuff. Mm. Man, too many to count. I can't even... More than 20? Yeah, way more. More than 20? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. I can't... I, I forgot. But, uh... Yeah, for God. Like after a while, you it's hard to keep. It's hard to keep count. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, shout out, shout out. You said yeah, shout out, Sway. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. So you okay? You remember the the that one shooting video uh-huh. from Grupo de Cuatro? How was that like? Man. What was that like? Cause I know you said that not a lot of people know like. Man, I've been wanting like it's been crazy cause. When that happened, I was like, damn, this vlogging stuff could get you in trouble. <laughs> I was like, damn. Like, also, I remember that day uh, vividly. Uh, vividly. Like, I was going to San Bernardino. I, if you've never been to San Bernardino, you know it's, you got to be ready. It's a, it's a, not a, like, it's a nice place, obviously. Nice restaurants and stuff, but it's, it's a little, uh, it gets What's, a little hot sometimes. Yeah, it gets a little hot. So I knew that going into SB. At the time, I was driving a '97 Honda, so I looked the part. I looked the part. Honda '97 Honda. I looked the part. I looked like I lived there. <laughs> oh, tinted windows, five percent in the back and thirty in the front. So we go to SB. I go to SB, and I, at the time, I only had like eight hundred subscribers. I still remember. And Grupo de Cuatro, it was one of their first shows in, in L.A. I think that the show after that was in Fresno. Uh, it was 2021, maybe June, June. And then... Um, I remember I was in the, the VIP section and the... Well, yeah, I was in the front. I was in the front. And then uh, I was in the front. And Moreno was singing. What song was it? It was, um, hey, um, uh, people don't even know, but when they were, when they shot up, it was, uh, Moreno was singing, well, Grupo de Espato, they were singing, uh, uh, Los Hermanos. It was crazy. Like, Moreno, like, uh, well, this is the one I, look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Right here, uh, Manny, Nav, Publizzi, and Moreno right there. So right here, guys, uh, right here with the shooting. And it was crazy, and I was like, "Damn, do I continue to vlog, or do I get the hell the hell out of there?" I was like, "Damn, it's not worth it to continue." Cause I was at that time when I heard the shooting, I was like, "And SB, you typically don't hear that in LA that much." Uh, maybe you will, but people get cautious, cause it's not like Mexico, like in Me- in uh, Mexico. Uh, you know, shout out Mexico, shout out Mexico. Uh, we ain't, uh, they're, they're used to that, but over here, you hear a gunshot, oh, it's go, you gotta get out of there, so, I think one of them did the right thing, but, uh, it was a guy behind us, he was, he was fighting, I remember, he had a gold gun, uh, and I was like, damn, that's, I remember that's when the security guard, the security guards came, and these were some hood ass shows, like, we were in the hood, SB, it was hood, it was hood, like, the security didn't even check if, if, if you had uh, anything on you. Like, it was a, some throwback hood shows. Like, Grupo de Escuatro has came a long way, you feel me? Now they got top, top-notch, top you know, they got top-notch security. But it was, back then, it was hood, like, I missed those shows. Um, and it was just an un- unforgettable moment. Uh, we were running, and the air- people got pepper sprayed. It was crazy after the event. Like, the guy, I think... Uh, he got got by the security that took him or something. Or no, nah, it was the security who threw up the shot, though. It was the security who threw up the shot. I think he got fired or something. But, um, but yeah, it was crazy. Shout out to Patro, though. That shit was one of my favorite moments, like, being in the in the Corrido game, in the, in the industry, the, Hispa- the, Me- the Hispanic Mexican industry. For sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Sway fight, too. I remember that one. It was crazy. At the Novo. So you seen a couple fights? Mm-hmm. Oh, the Tony Lawyer too. That shit was crazy too. The girls. Huh? Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah. Man, shot. Yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, but hmm. Okay. The, the the security threw up the taser and the Tony Lawyer and the Alan Trios one. Mm-hmm. 
Everybody got it. Yeah, it's just funny. Okay then, let's see. Alright, so to wrap it up, let's see. What okay, what's your motivation like every day or like what do you what do you what do you find motivation in? Uh just being a better person, winning, treating people right, keep improving, keep uh keep going, keep improving, think critically of the world around us and just motivate other people. That's what I wanna show people like I said earlier, like uh inspire people with uh with the content that I give them, go out there, wake up every day and stay motivated, be motivated and motivate others. So go reach your goal. Every person has a different goal. Uh, entertainment, sports, mm -hmm. YouTube, school. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. What's and then what's your mindset though? Like, like when you wake up in the morning, like what's your like go to like? When, when? Like, like you're saying, what's your saying? When? <laughs> You gotta get that W to go. You gotta go to war. You gotta go to war. Like, you gotta go to war every day. And what I mean by that is, like, for in order you, for in order to you, for you, my bad. Because sometimes when you're doing these interviews, like, it's hard to articulate the right way, guys, or enunciate the right words. Because I feel rushed. Sometimes it can happen. Um, and I could talk, yeah, I could talk however I want, but, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but, uh, <laughs> okay, you guys have to go to war. I, this is a mentality I have. So you you wake up and you're ready to go to war. What I mean by that is you're ready to go to war to get that W at the end. So you're ready to go to war for, with all the obstacles in the morning, day, to get the W. Like W, boom, mm -hmm. the win. Mm -hmm. And if you take an L that day, don't worry. Wake up the next day and let's go. L is for lessons. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Y'all heard it? Y'all heard it? All right. Um, what else you gotta say? That's it. You know I mean, if say? you guys stay tuned for the channel, guys, I, I thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for supporting uh, the channel. Like, I'm blessed to have all these supporters. And uh, I hope I motivate you guys to, to, to do whatever you're doing. And, and if you're in a difficult situation, whatever, Stay positive. You're not gonna make a negative mindset and create a, a negative uh, circumstance. You're not. If you if you get into a car crash, positive. Always stay positive. Just know that there's other ways to maneuver out of that situation. Don't ever feel stuck. If you're ever stuck, you won't get out. Just believe in yourself. Positive mindset. Positive, 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 and stay motivated. That's how you're gonna win this game. This game. And then, guys. Believe in yourself and let's get it. New video is coming soon. Bye.